The reason why South Africa was chosen is not only Afrigen or Biobat, but the presence of uh, this uh, university, Stellum Bosch, and also BMRI <coughs> and, and, and SERI. The Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences at Stellenbosch University is excited today because we are part of the first COVID mRNA vaccine technology transfer hub. This initiative will help to further develop the manufacturing of vaccines with a specific objective to build capacity in Africa. Our faculty is committed to find practical and impactful solutions to the health challenges faced by the people of South Africa and the African continent. We are proud to help close the vaccine gap for low and middle income countries by pairing our scientific expertise with our new cutting edge technology available in this building, the Biomedical Research Institute. At Stellenbosch University, we truly believe that knowledge should be harnessed in service of society. And this visit by the World Health Organization confirms that we are on the right track. It shows that expertise on the African continent is being harnessed to serve the globe. It also, the contributions of our scientists and researchers and companies and agencies and authorities will help make South Africa, Africa, and the rest of the world a better place. It will help make it a better place. Our institution, Stellenbosch University's vision is to be Africa's leading research intensive university and like I've mentioned, to be impactful in the community. And this visit today shows that our community is not confined to Stellenbosch, Cape Town, the Western Cape, or even South Africa, but our community indeed is the rest of our continent and the world at large. And this project is not only a solution for South Africa, but for the whole continent. If the pandemic has proven us one thing, it is that only unity and international solidarity will enable us to successfully stop this pandemic. It has shown us once again that we are all interconnected. So therefore, vaccination, vaccinating the world against COVID-19 should be a top priority and remain so. So we must keep reminding ourselves of the reason for ensuring vaccination of the entire world because no one is safe until everyone is safe. There can be no doubt that vaccines have saved countless lives. But as you know, this scientific triumph has been marred by vast inequities in access. More than half of the world's population is now fully vaccinated. And yet, 84% of the population of Africa is yet to receive a single dose. One of the most obvious lessons of the pandemic, therefore, is the urgent need to increase local production of vaccines, especially in low and middle income countries. That's why in April last year, WHO issued a call for expression of interests for establishing a technology transfer hub for mRNA vaccines. The turnout of applications was high, but South Africa was chosen as a hub for the mRNA. And the reason why South Africa was chosen is not only Afrigen or Biobat, but the presence of uh, this uh, university, Stellum Bosch, and also BMRI <coughs> and, and, and SERI, and of course the rest of the ecosystem that can uh, support it. So we, we, we believe that uh, this commitment or the uh, capacity which we have in the country will make the project uh, successful.